in the name of allah the most merciful and the most beneficent may allah peace and blessings of subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of us assalamu alaikum students in your last class you learned the chapter sustenance of the individual nutrition and respiration in this chapter you learned about the life processes the basic life process performed by all living organisms are nutrition digestion respiration metabolism and reproduction and you learned about the autotrophs they make their own food and the green plants are autotrophs now the heterotrophs they consume food made by autotrophs and the human animal and the some bacteria are the examples of heterotrophs now in your previous lecture you learned about the starch a nutrient carbohydrates found notably in corn potatoes wheat rice is commonly prepared as a whole tasteless powder now today i will tell you about the heterotrophic nutrition in human before starting with the topic we must know about the heterotrophic nutrition all animals including men and all non green plants depend on green plants for organic food they are known as heterotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition now i will explain you the heterotrophic nutrition in human human food is of many types because the human are omnivores human digestive system is designed for carrying out the digestion of many kinds of food so in this topic we must know about the digestive system the digestive system is used for breaking down food into nutrients which then pass into the circulatory system and are taken to where they are needed in the body or you can say the digestive system is responsible for taking whole foods and turning them into energy and the nutrients to allow the body to function grow and repair itself and there are the organs of the digestive system mouth tongue pharynx esophagus stomach liver pancreas gallbladder small intestine large intestine rectum and anus these are the organs of the digestive system the enzymes are present in the mouth stomach pancreas liver do you know what is enzymes enzymes are proteins that function as biological catalyst now what is the meaning of the catalyst a catalyst is a substance that is speed up a chemical reaction but is not changed by the reaction now what is enzymes enzymes are proteins that function as biological catalyst now there are some examples of the enzymes the salivary amylase which is present in the mouth it breaks down the starch and the pepsin which is present in the stomach it breaks down protein and the pancreas has the three enzymes amylase trypsin and the lipase the amylase breaks down the starch trypsin break down the protein and the lipase break down the lipids have you got my point now i will tell you about the introduction of the food processing there are four stages to food processing the first one is ingestion second is digestion third one is absorption and the fourth one is egestion the first one is ingestion means taking in food the digestion means the breaking down food into nutrients absorption means taking in nutrients by cells and ingestion means the removing any left over waste one by one i will discuss here the first one is ingestion 
In this phase, the food enters the mouth and the food is taken into our body through the mouth. Saliva also lubricates the food, making it easier to swallow. The tongue helps to roll and push the food into the food pipe or the esophagus. Have you got it? Now the food is downwards into the stomach by contraction of involuntary muscles of the walls of the esophagus. Now this type of movement is known as peristalsis. Now what is peristalsis? The food moves through digestive tract from esophagus to anus where peristalsis. Now see the diagram. There is mentioned the contracted muscles and the relaxed muscles. There is mentioned the food which is present in the esophagus. There is mentioned the movement of the food. So it is known as peristalsis. Or you can say the food downwards into the stomach by the contraction of involuntary muscles of the walls of the esophagus. This type of movement is known as peristalsis. Now the next is digestion. The second phase of the food processing is digestion. The breakdown of large insoluble food molecules into small soluble molecules to be absorbed into the body cell or the process by which food is broken down into simple chemical compounds that can be absorbed and used as nutrient or eliminated by the food is also called digestion. And the food remains in the stomach for a few minutes to a few hours. During this period, Thousands of glands in the stomach wall secretes digestive juices into the stomach. These juices contain an acetic acid and enzymes that break down the protein. And the most of the digestion takes place in the small intestine. And the digestion is completed in the small intestine. Have you got it? Now the stomach has the muscular wall. The thick muscular bag with thick muscles wall and the stomach has the muscular wall. The muscular wall thick muscular bag with the thick muscles wall. At the end of the stomach there is a muscular wall called pyloric sphincter. Now see the diagram. There is mentioned the pyloric sphincter which is present at the end of the stomach and it is the muscular wall of the stomach. It controls the entry of food from the stomach into the intestine. And the third one is absorption by small intestine. Absorption through villi and the microvilli. Now what is villi and the microvilli? They are the finger like projection which is present in the small intestine. And they increase surface area for absorption. The next step in the absorption of the digested food into the blood. After absorption in the small intestine, the remaining undigested food mixes with water and moves into the large intestine. The large intestine absorbs most of the water. Now the fourth one is egestion. Removal of undigested food material is known as egestion. Or the semi-solid mass of undigested food left over absorption of water in the large intestine is called feces. It is stored in the rectum and is passed out of the body through the anus. Now have you got my point? Now today, I explain to you about the digestive system. The digestive system is used for breaking down food into nutrients. And there are four stages of food processing. 
the first one ingestion means taking in food and the digestion means breaking down food into nutrients and absorption means taking in nutrients by cells and ingestion means removing any leftover waste and you learned about the peristalsis the food moves through digestive tract from esophagus to anus via peristalsis and it is a straight muscular tube which connect the mouth with the stomach and enzymes are proteins that function as biological catalyst and examples of enzymes are amylase lipase pepsin and trypsin have you got it now the last is home task the short question the question number 7 which digestive process takes place in the mouth the question number 8 what are enzymes give at least one example the question number 9 what is peristalsis draw diagrams to show peristalsis the question number 10 the stomach has thick muscular walls what is the function of these muscles there are four short questions from the book and you have to answer it in your copy you can find answer of these question in your book from page number 9 to 11 or you can write answer the question through my lecture now this is all i hope that you must have understood the lesson as well as home task take care beta allah hafiz